only have you, only have you, my darling, only have you, only have you, my love, go to heaven above, only have you, my darling, only have you, one by one, my darling, one by one, one by one, my darling, one by one.
album is well, it starts with an oath blindfolded sounds like rolled up and you swear an oath that if you should reveal the things that you were taught within the temple don't forget it's called a temple that uh, you should reveal them to outsiders that you have your throat cut from ear to ear and it might sound like a boy scouty sort of thing to do and no one takes it serious but that's only just where it starts it's not um serious about the fact that their word should be worth something. You need to consider that you know, things that you see in there you can't reveal to your son, you can't reveal to your friends. It's a beautiful day today. This is the New entrance to the place. This will be the workshop. I know that it's supposed to be a charitable organisation, but you only ever heard from that from the, from the first degree. There are people that you won't get to know unless you really want to get into it, who are very, very much higher up the chain. And the third degree, 31st, 30, 30, up to 33 degree basins, and they're, you know, they're very influential men in the world. <laughs> but they're bloody evil bastards. Yeah, Masons. <laughs> Maybe with this video I can show you a book that I bought that was published in 1790 something, just maybe 93. It was actually published uh, 21 years after the start of the Illuminati in 1776. And even then they'd infiltrated the, you know, the lodges throughout Europe and uh, of course established the Scottish Rite with the um, English one eventually being the being the head the head honchos. The Queen she's the she's the matriarch of the of the Masons. And um, and uh, her son uh, William, he's now he's now uh, specially elected to be something special amongst them. Um, but none of them. They're, it's an anti-Christian organisation, and these follow the traditions of men. And the organisation may have started out to have been, well, it was a secret organisation in that men kept secret their skills and their abilities to be able to build complex buildings and architecture, and it was a bit of a club. But that club, because it was secret and had secrets that were appertaining to trade and what have you, it also had a great um, it was a great breeding ground for people that wanted secrets that would topple governments topple religious organizations and and control what people thought in society um, but in the end their influence at the top of the tree you know like Blair is now a 33 degree mason became a Roman Catholic in recent times and um, when you start uh, I mean, at that end of the tree, which is not where you're being, it's not where you're going to be, of course, or whoever it is that you're talking about, or whatever your thoughts on the matter might be. But it starts with an oath 
that you can't even share with your best friends. You can't sit there and have a beer and say what happened in the temple because some other mason might be listening in, in which case they'll be ostracised and, and if they wanted to carry through the oath, which it's been done in the past, you know, we cut from here to it. <coughs> it's ritually gone through. That's your, that's your initiation. Stand there with your trouser leg up looking like a bloody idiot, blindfolded, you know, and, um, and swearing allegiance to some great secret that you don't even know anything about at the moment. So you, your initiation is to swear a loyalty and allegiance to something that you just don't even know what it is. And men are meant to be free. You know, you make allegiances just because you know what you're making an allegiance to. But not to secrets that get divulged to you over, you know, over many, many years until you become knowledgeable enough to know what the really, really big secrets are. Of course, you know, at the very, very top, you know, anything that tries to act in secret, uh, you know, against other people, and you know, they, you've got, it's, it, it's all, it's all Luciferian, it's all satanic, and uh, you know, a true value of a man's life is uh, his life as it's hidden Christ, as men that believe that Jesus uh, was buried and was resurrected. And to uh, so that men, all men can be forgiven, all men are forgiven, you're forgiven, your wife, your children, your friends are uh, all forgiven. God knows, holds no sin against them. All you have to do, though, is to actually believe and to accept that. And in accepting that, you're a born again believer. That's what's of true value to your children, not something that's hidden secret where you're blindfolded and your trousers, legs are halfway up your knee. It's, um, there's a whole world of difference. One's open, one's secret and clandestine, ultimately evil. The other is good, it's true, it's open, it's transparent. And the love of God can be seen in men's lives that are changed. And, um, and there's nothing secret about it. It's open. So I hope for you, Dave, that you just put your trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ that he did what he did for you and yours there's nothing hid there it's just true it's open the creator It was Jesus Christ. Anyway, Dave, I'd love to, love to see you here. Actually, I'm about going to close the back door, I suppose. I did come out here wondering what it is that I should be doing for the day because I've got tons to do. <coughs> Excuse me, health wise, I'm not too bad.